Hello everyone. Well, regular viewers to my channel will know that I mainly feature appliances that suck. Sometimes those appliances can also blow. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you an appliance that really blows. It only blows. That's all it does. There's no suction on this. It just blows. This is an air duster. It's a CompuClean expert. Keep it clean, keep IT clean. Well, I don't have much IT that needs blowing, but I do have a lot of vacuum cleaners, dusty cyclones, and areas around my house that could do with a good blow where I can't reach with a suction of a vacuum cleaner. And most modern vacuum cleaners these days don't have a blowing facility. They did back in the day, you could connect the hose to the other end of the cleaner and use the blowing outlet to blow dust out of inaccessible places and air your bedding and even dry your dog. So this, I wanted this mainly to use when I'm refurbishing vacuum cleaners to help blow out dust from the motors, blow out dust from the cyclones and also to use around my home. Okay, without any further ado, let's get it open and have a look at all the accessories included. Here's everything out of the box. The instructions don't really tell you what to use each attachment for, so it'll be trial and error to choose the attachment that's best suited for the job you're doing. So we get the unit itself. I'll be looking at that in closer detail in a minute. We get a spare air filter, a storage bag, instruction booklet, and various nozzles. We've got this long nozzle here. We've got a slightly shorter version with a more concentrated hole so that should give you a, a stronger jet of air. Then we've got this nozzle here which will give you a wider blast of air instead of concentrating it into one spot you'll get a wider area so it'll be less strong. The smaller the hole at the end of the nozzle the more concentrated and strong the airflow will be. Then we get another nozzle here but with a built-in brush so as you're blowing you can be brushing off any stubborn dirt and then we have three other brushes just used for cleaning so you can blow with the machine brush at the same time or brush first to loosen any stubborn dust and then blow it away whatever you want to do so you've got a wider brush there a smaller brush for more intricate areas and an even smaller one for getting into all those nooks and crannies. So this is used, it's called an IT cleaner, expert CompuClean. It's designed for people with computers and other electronics that get dusty, especially big tower computers that have a fan. They're, the fan obviously sucks air in from the room to keep the computer cool, but it's as well as sucking air, it's gonna suck dust into your computer so from time to time you want to use something to blow the dust away you can use those compressed cans of air but that's a constant cost you have to keep buying them or an air compressor but this is a bat uh, I was going to say battery this is a mains powered blower so it takes the air in from the room via the little filter so you don't want to block that when you're using it you've got two speeds and you have to keep your finger on so you've got high speed and a low speed and it says in the instructions not to use it continually it will get hot so it's best to use it in short bursts this is not the sort of appliance that you'll be using for long periods it's for quick bursts uh, of cleaning you're not going to be wanting to clean your electronics for hours at a time or even several minutes but just use it for a couple of minutes if it gets too hot leave it to cool uh, and then continue using it so it looks, I don't know, it looks like a little bit of an electric kettle. It's quite small and light. It's got a nice sort of rubberized finish on it. And I like this retro cable in red. It looks very uh, old fashioned somehow, but it kind of goes with this. It's, it's a nice touch. And of course, this is a UK version. So it has the UK three pin plug. If you're buying this outside the UK, of course, it'll come with the plug for your particular country. So if you're watching with headphones on, you might want to lower the volume. It could be loud. So I'll start off on the low setting first. Well, that's not too bad. 
now on high. Well, <laughs> pretty powerful. It's blown everything off the table. But yes, and that's obviously, I mean, that's without any concentrator nozzle on. So once we fit a nozzle, we're going to get more of the power, more concentrated airflow. So if I put on the brush nozzle, it's a bayonet type fitting. You've got two pips either side of the hole and you can see on the nozzles, they're shaped. So you put them in like a bayonet light bulb really. So it just goes in like that. Let's move these nozzles out of the way in case I blow them off again. That's pretty strong. This will be useful when I want to blow out the dust from an electric motor. Especially electric motors you, you can't really service. Some vacuum cleaners have motors that aren't really designed to be taken apart and repaired. But at least with a machine like this, I can at least get the dust out, of, especially of the fan blades. Um, cylinder cleaner, if it's got an aluminium fan, you can get a lot of crud built up in the fan blades and that can unbalance the motor and make it sound noisier. So using something like this, hopefully, in the course of my refurbishments, might help me. So I would say that this is the most concentrated nozzle. So um, yeah, this, this I will use for the cyclone cleaning. And we're gonna take, um, I've got a cordless Dyson I've been using a bit. It shouldn't be too dirty, but interesting to see how much dust comes out of the cyclone. So I'll be using that in a minute. This is a nozzle I'd say if you want to dry your dog, probably that's the best one to go for. And I can I can feel it's it's starting to warm up. It's not too warm, but after a few minutes it will get hot. I think it's a 500 watt, no 550 watt motor. Obviously it's made in China, where else? But it's a neat little thing. And I think it's gonna help out with uh, all the jobs I've got to do. As I say, around the house, I can think of multiple things that uh, a blowing machine would be useful for. I do find the blowing outlet on vacuum cleaners quite useful, but as I said, it's not something you see often nowadays on a modern vacuum cleaner. They don't tend to have a blowing outlet like they did back in the sort of 50s and 60s. So. I think what I'm going to try this with now, I'm going to get a, a Dyson cordless vacuum that I've been using, as I said, and see if I can blow any muck out of the cyclones. I've got most of the Dyson cordless vacuums, but I seldom use them because I prefer to use a bagged vacuum cleaner. But this V10 is the one that happens to be out. And I do use this as a handheld. I don't use it for my carpets, but as a handheld, with this particular motorized head, it's very good. I've just cleaned my bedding with it before putting it in the washing machine. I've got rid of pet hair off the bedding before I wash it. And um, I've given the mattress a vacuum. So we can see that's not all from one session, but there's quite a lot of dirt in there. So it's good as a handheld. I don't rate it for much else, but I do keep it for that. So we've got all this muck. Now obviously, well, I'm just gonna empty it out here. I'll use another machine. To pick that up but you can see here we've got a lot of dust here on the inner shroud now these do come apart for cleaning so we can take out the bin it's, it's again it's putting more dust out and there's dust in the bin of course now inside this Dyson there are multiple cyclones and the more you use it the more those cyclones will get clogged up with dust especially if you've got an older Dyson mains or a cordless one like this when you finally get to clean out the cyclone you'll find absolutely tons and tons of dust which will reduce the efficiency of the machine and there's no way to really successfully wash these without taking everything apart and Dyson don't recommend you do this but you can see it is quite messy and I suppose I could use a combination of this soft brush you see it's brushing off the dust anyway but combine that with a powerful jet of air, that should clean that very well. And also, 
directing the jet inside to clean the inner cyclones. But that is not something I'm going to do inside my house. I don't want dust everywhere. So I'm going to take the Compu cleaner outside and uh, try and blow out some dust from this Dyson. There's a hole here I can direct the air and we should see a lot of muck, hopefully, coming out of this machine. I'll just take off the filter actually. That's not too bad. But you could also use it to blow your filter clean too if you don't want to wash it because obviously you have to wait 24 hours for these for these filters to dry so you can use just the air just to get the worst off but again it's something i'll do outside okay let's take this dusty dyson outside and we'll see if we can blow out the muck using my new compu cleaner expert Well folks, I was very surprised at the amount of dust I blew out of this Dyson considering it is very seldom used. If you've got a Dyson cordless or any multi-cyclonic vacuum and you've had it for a year or two, I suggest if you get one of these, the first thing you should do with it is take your machine outside and do what I did. Remove the filter, remove the bin of course, and just give it a good blowout and you'll be absolutely amazed at the amount of stuff that comes out. I was very surprised because as I said, this is not a cleaner I use on a regular basis. I took out the filter as well and gave that a quick clean. This has never been washed. That's how little I use the machine. I've never washed this with water, but it did blow out some dust. So I can pop the filter back in. And uh, also, I haven't wiped them, but it's a good idea to wipe the seals as well. But I did use the machine to blow out the dust from around the seals too. So I can reassemble, if I can remember how to do it. It's quite a while. I think it goes on like this. There we go. That's it. Let's check I've done it correctly. So everything's nice and clean. So there you go, <laughs> it's worth, this little machine is worth getting just for that. But I can think of multiple things I'm going to use this cleaner for. And also another thing, as I was getting rid of the dust out of the cyclones from that Dyson, when I'm refurbishing a vacuum cleaner, I often have to wash parts to get them really clean. And some of the parts are quite intricate and they've got lots of little areas where you can't get a cloth to dry them. So this, I mean, I'm thinking especially in like a, the bag compartments of a bagged vacuum with all the grids inside there. Very hard to clean and very hard to dry. But once they're clean, I can use this to absolutely dry them really quickly instead of waiting hours and hours. And even inside of accessories and hoses and tubes, I can direct this. What I'll say about it, yeah, it's quite noisy and... I don't like the fact that you've got to keep your finger on the button, just like a Dyson. You've got to keep your finger pressed down in order for the machine to work. But it is only meant to be used for brief periods. So I suppose the manufacturers have done that to stop you sort of leaving it and turning it on and trying to use it to blow something large. You know, if you want to dry something large, I think if it was to be left too long, the motor would soon burn out but of course you can't really use it on a soft surface like this because you need to keep the inlet free of any obstructions because obviously that's where it sucks in the air 
from the room. So all in all, yes, I recommend this CompuCleaner Expert. It's ideal for what I want it for. It's not possibly what the manufacturers intended it for, but I'm certainly going to find a lot of use for this compact but powerful machine. And again, I'll probably go around my radiators at some point and uh, before winter, blow down the backs of the radiators to dislodge all the dirt. But obviously when you do anything inside the house, the dust and dirt is going to get into the air, settle on your furniture. So stand by with your vacuum cleaner. You could always have your vacuum cleaner suck suctioning. So you could be blowing dirt out of an area and have your vacuum cleaner sort of there and hopefully it'll manage to suck up a lot of the dust and dirt straight into the machine. So there you go. If you have any comments or questions about the CompuCleaner, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.